We are now officially less than two weeks away from the release of Black Ops Cold War. And I think in the competitive scene, people are ready, right? I think people are getting excited. They're ready to scrim. Hopefully you're ready to watch scrims again because I cannot wait to break them down and put them on my channel and learn the maps and learn all the strategies. I just, I can't wait to see the maps that we're gonna be playing. And it's just such an exciting time right at the beginning of the year when people go out and the league announces what the maps are and what the modes are and people can really start these pro teams can really start scrimming them and learning all the concepts and strategies that are involved but with that there is still a little bit of speculation about what might be wrong with black ops cold war right not saying that it's a terrible game but there are probably things that people would agree might have been better during modern warfare than they are today or at least with what's coming with Black Ops Cold War. And that was no more apparent than just a few days ago when Attach released this tweet. So Attach came out and said, Modern Warfare was released one year ago today. What was your favorite thing about it? So pretty open-ended question. My guess would be that just if you're a casual player, you might have said something like Warzone because I think from that game overall, of course the CDL was massive in the first year of the league and franchising and all of that. But I think just from the franchise, from the game as a whole, Warzone took the world by storm. So I think that would probably have to be like the number one thing. But after that, Zuma came back with this tweet that said, the movement in Modern Warfare is better than the movement in Cold War as of right now. That's a fact. And this started an entire discussion that I want to go through. And I kind of want to discuss with you guys a little bit. So I've done a video or two before on the movement and what seems good, what doesn't really seem great about it, stuff like that. But there are some pros that responded to this tweet from Zuma. So let's cover those and then let's discuss it just a little bit. So as we go through, Zuma says, again, you guys realize the movement in Modern Warfare is the same as Cold War, except Modern Warfare was smoother. Cold War, you sprint in slow motion and slide at the speed of light. Never said Modern Warfare was good. I was just talking about movement here, and I won't be told otherwise. We're still using button combos as movement. So, first thing. And when I go back and I play Warzone, so I spent a ton of time playing the beta, and at first I didn't really love it, and then it kind of grew on me more and more. Once I was able to play on PC and my old eyes could actually see something, then I had a much better time. I, I think playing it on PC was one of the things that made me enjoy it a little bit more than before. But after playing the beta and I went back to play Warzone, one thing that I realized is that the slide mechanic in Cold War is unbelievably fast. And that's something that Zuma touches on right here when he says, Cold War, you sprint in slow motion and slide at the speed of light. I was almost like taken back because if you're playing Modern Warfare, especially when you're playing in you know CDL and the competitive playlist and stuff like that, sliding was all over the place. I mean, it happened like crazy. But when I went back to play Modern Warfare and Warzone and stuff like that, it really did surprise me how slow the slide mechanic. It's like you you press the button to slide and there's a little bit of a delay and then you finally go on your slide. Now, of course, the cameraing and the slide cancel and all that is still overrated and that's still there. Not overrated, but overpowered. But I was just shocked that after playing the beta, you go to slide in the beta and you slide instantly and it's extremely fast. So it just doesn't seem to make sense, right? It seems like you have the clunky movement or at least the clunkier, the not so smooth movement in Black Ops Cold War. You figured that would be paired with sliding that's a little bit slower, but that's not the case. And that's one of the things that really took me by surprise. Dashy came in and said, double sprint, enough salad, word to border. Um, to which Zuma said, I agree, double sprint sucked, but Cold War needs a lot of work on the movement. And I hope to see that change going into the game. So that's the other thing. If you just had the sl sure slide cancel was rough, but the fact that you could slide cancel to reload or to reset your double sprint that was another big issue when you're talking about modern warfare and its movement. So the double sprint, while just from like a casual perspective, I thought it was kind of cool that for a short period of time, you could double sprint, you could tactical sprint and go a little bit faster. It made everything unbelievably hectic. Mix that with 5v5 for the for the, the Call of Duty League. It just, I don't know, it just, 
there were so many different variables involved that I think it really did hurt the game overall. Attached says, I was reading the comments and seems like a lot of people miss it. <laughs> and then Slasher came in and like did one of these because obviously we know if you're talking about people that really did not love or really did not enjoy Modern Warfare, Slasher is one of them. Slasher, you could probably throw Octane in there as well. But Zuma said, both games have the same movement, but one was smooth and one is clunky. Not saying I like slide canceling. Um, so again, Zuma's kind of taking that same reply in response to Slasher here. And I agree with him. I do feel like when you were running in Black Ops Cold War, it's, it's like it's like you have a backpack on or something. Like, like you should be moving a little bit more freer, but you're not. I, I don't know. It's so hard to explain what you actually experience throughout that game. I, I can't really put it into words, but it just feels like when you're mantling, when you're jumping, when you're sprinting, it's like I just want to un I just want to unhitch the trailer and just go faster and so I don't know. It's a weird take, but if you've played it, you know what I mean and if you haven't, then it's one of those things that's it's just kind of hard to uh, get the grasp of. Ake said tactical sprint was a horrible mechanic. To which Zuma replied, I agree, but you can't tell me the movement and Cold War doesn't feel clunky. Sprint speed is too slow. Slide speed is too fast. I prefer the slide removed entirely. Which Aix goes on to say, and by the way, if you didn't see, Aix actually gave some unbelievably good criticism back in, it was constructive criticism back, I don't know, maybe three or four weeks ago. The dude made a PowerPoint, had a bunch of slides of things that he would change in favor of the competitive scene. I mean, it was it was a really good take. It was a really good slideshow from him. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'm sure it's still on his Twitter. But he said, with sliding involved, I'd rather it be clunky. Otherwise, it's abuse. Alas, modern warfare. But yeah, they need to fix the speed values on running, walking, sliding. They don't seem fluid. Sliding is the fastest part, which makes no sense. Cannot slide faster than you sprint in real life. And that's a good point. That's a good way to look at it, right? If you're walking... And then you're running, there should be obviously an increase in speed. But if you're running, there should not be an increase in speed when you start your slide. That's what it feels like. It feels like I'm gonna slide and I'm actually gonna gain more ground. I'm gonna I'm still gonna I'm gonna gain speed off of how I was running. And that doesn't make sense. So it seems like whatever the movement percentage is there, it needs to be dialed back. And I'm listen, this is all stuff that we're hoping gets fixed, but I have a ton of confidence in Treyarch. They usually do a really nice job of, of, of tackling these sort of issues and making the game right. Just to continue this, Slasher says, Cold War is also the beta. The other's a full game. We've been through an entire year cycle. The beta had more updates also, um, to which Zuma said that dev support is a powerful thing. So just to kind of go through this, I don't know. I wanted to touch on it overall because I think that there's some we'll see if if these things end up getting fixed but i feel like this is just some good constructive criticism that really makes sense especially in this tweet here from aches the one that we just talked about where he compares the speed values on running walking and sliding i mean there's a million different ways to approach this but i just my guess would be that treyarch is going to take a peek at this they're going to look at this they're going to realize that okay these guys make some good points maybe there's some things that should be fixed and we'll see what happens when the actual full game releases. So, again, we're about a week and a half away this upcoming Friday. It's a week from this upcoming Friday when Black Ops Cold War releases. So, cannot wait to see the pro scrim. Cannot wait to break it down, the strategy, and all of that. So, if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button because that is what my channel is about. I take these guys when they're playing in competitive scrims and, and during the season and everything, and I break down what they're doing, why they're doing it, just so that you guys have a better idea what you're seeing and what you're watching. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you have any comments on this, put it down below. Normally, this is a controversial topic. So what did you enjoy about the movement from the beta? What did you enjoy about the movement from, from Modern Warfare? Is there anything that you would like to see switch going into Black Ops Cold War? Put it down below. Leave a like. As always, it helps out the channel. Thank you guys so much. We will see you in tomorrow's upload.